Hello, my name is Moon Cat, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you a really cool city builder and optimizer uh, that, for me personally, I think is very, very useful for settlements and uh, planning out, laying out, uh, and updating settlements as you go along with the settlement. Uh, so the tool is the Forge of Empires City Builder and Optimizer. I think it's uh, relatively new. I think it was uh, released around one month ago. Uh, and it still needs some work. Uh, but uh, even in uh, its current state, it's uh, great for settlements, in my opinion. It makes it really easy to uh, optimize your layout in your settlements. And because you change it so frequently as you up uh, unlock new buildings, it's a really nice way to quickly enter your values in here and uh, get layout suggestions. Uh, so yeah, when you enter here, the first thing you need to do is you need to create an account. Uh, I uh, have been using it for a few weeks now. I have not received any, I don't think I've received any emails from them at all. But even so, I would probably just use a throwaway email account. And the main reason why you need an account uh, is that uh, you can save and load uh, uh, setups. But yeah, I don't really use that. Uh, so yeah, in here, first thing you can do is you can zoom out a little bit. So in order to use it, uh, here, we here I have my city. I'm going to use this as an example. I just unlocked uh, the text code Singo. You can see I have quite a lot of free space that I use to temporarily place sculptures to unlock technologies. So now it's time for me to rebuild my settlement to replace uh, shrines with these. Uh, and yeah, uh, to help me figure out that, I'm going to use the Forge of Empire City Builder and Optimizer. So the first thing you need to do is to go into the map here and you need to increase this so that it is the same size as your settlement. So mine is currently uh, 4 by 4 minus these two. So you're going to see 3 by 3. So 4x4 four four minus these two, and sorry about that, I always forget to turn off my phone. Uh, so yeah, this is my current settlement. Uh, I also need to add the impediments I have. Uh, so if you have an impediment there, for example. So yeah, just click on where your impediments are. If you click again, you remove them. So that's another thing you need to do. And the final thing you need to do is to add your buildings. Uh, the town hall, for example, is 5x5. Five and then say you want, I don't know, uh, the maze building, uh, which is three by five. Let's say you want two of them. Uh, residential building, for example, is uh, three by three, and so on. Uh, I won't go input all here. I already have that prepared. But yeah, this is how you need to add all your buildings. And that's why I, w I personally would not use it for my main city, because it would take too long to add all of these buildings. Uh, but yeah, uh, perhaps for you, if you have a smaller city, you might want to use it for that. But for me, this tool is very nice for settlements in particular. The final thing uh, is to use the solver. Here you can set for how long uh, the maximum time it runs. This runs on your local computer. So uh, if you have a particularly uh, tough situation with a lot of buildings and so on, it might take uh, quite some time. So you might want to change the maximum uh, time here. And then just click solve. Uh, now, of course, this is just a <laughs> this is not a real setup, but yeah, uh, it will come up with suggestions, and then uh, it will come up with uh, eventually what it says is the optimal solution. Uh, but it isn't necessarily the optimal. Uh, but yeah, uh, so here I have my setup. Uh, so uh, these are the buildings I want to get. Uh, I want to replace uh, all of my uh, shrines uh, with this new building here. Uh, and I am think I'm able to fit in six uh, residence buildings, uh, two maze farms, and three aviaries. So that is what I have input here. Uh, I did run it, uh, and uh, after a while, after a couple of minutes, it came with this solution. Uh, but as it says here, this is not the optimal solution. If I let it run longer, it might get a better solution. Uh, so yeah, there are some obviously some obvious things to improve here. For example, down here, you can see that all of these roads are unnecessary and so on. So yeah. Uh, but uh, what I want to uh, show in this video uh, is that here is my current city. Uh, however, I do have an impediment removal. So what I want to do is to test uh, which uh, impediment should I remove uh, to minimize the number of roads I need in order to build these buildings. 
So for me, there are three obvious candidates. It's this or these two impediments. Uh, so what I'll do is that I'll try one by one. So I'll try to remove, uh, going to map here, impediments. I'll try to remove this first, go back to the solver and let it run. Now this will probably need, uh, need some time, uh, hopefully not too long, but I will skip ahead in the edit. All right, so that took uh, 24 seconds. Uh, it came with a solution that it says is optimal uh, with 22 roads. Uh, now this tool, as I said, it's relatively new. There are some rooms for improvement. Uh, so even though it says this is the optimal, uh, I, there are some obvious improvements. Uh, here, for example, you can move both of these up here, one step, and you can remove both of these roads, move that road up there. So. Here you can easily see that you can do two roads, two fewer roads, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is one solution. So uh, 22 or 20 roads uh, seems to be what I'm able to do here, and I think that's probably probably the best you can do. Uh, so that's if I remove this impediment. Hello, this is Moving Cat in the edit. As you can see, I clearly said where my impediment should be. But for some reason, when I re-add it, I, I place it at the wrong place. So just know that I made a mistake here. Uh, it might have impacted my results a little bit, but uh, the theory behind what I'm doing is valid. So I'm just going to roll with it, but just know that I misplaced the incident. So end result might have been affected by that. Uh, but if I go back here, if I add that again and instead try to remove this, Let's uh, see if we get a better solution now. So I'll skip ahead to the result. All right, here we go. So here you can see that we actually got a, a result with uh, 17 roads, which is definitely fewer. Uh, but even here, uh, there are some room for improvement. Here, for example, you can remove uh, one road at least. Uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, you can remove one road that down here. Uh, so yeah, 16 roads. Uh, so yeah, that's four fewer than the previous. So this impediment here seems to be better than the one over here. Uh, and finally, let's uh, go back here, impediments. Let's re-add that and let's remove this and see if we can get a better solution now. So 16 roads is the one we are looking to beat. Oh, that was quick, <laughs> one second. Uh, so yeah, here we go, 18 roads. Are there any obvious improvements? Uh, here, for example, I can remove two roads here. Uh, so again, it seems to be, yeah, it seems like I can remove two roads here, move this road up here, remove these two roads, move this building one up. So 16 roads here as well. Uh, any other obvious improvements? I uh, don't think I see any. Um, yeah, so I think this will be 16 as well. Uh, now there's one final thing I want to try. Uh, I can see here that I do have some additional space. Uh, so what I want to try is that actually, uh, if I add in one, uh, what's it called, one hut, which is a two by two, that does not require a road and one shrine. Two by two, that does, uh, does require a road. So let's see if I'm able to fit that in. Uh, all right, so here we have a solution with a 19 roads. That's nice. Uh, any obvious improvements? Uh, yeah, I can remove two roads down here if I move this one up and let the road run over here. Uh, I can remove that road and move it up here. So yeah, that's three roads, so 16 roads. Okay, so this is the same, uh, but I'm able to fit in one more shrine, so that's nice. Uh, but I do want to just quickly check with the other two as well. So I believe the impediment was... Nope. Uh, one further down. So let's quickly see if I'm able to get better results here. So we'll solve. 18 roads, okay, any obvious improvements? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm able to move both of these up, which means I need one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm able to remove three roads here. 
so yeah, this seems like it's uh, slightly better. So this is 15 roads in total. If I move these up, uh, yeah, this seems to be a better solution. So 15 roads is the one to beat. Let's finally try to remove that, see if we can get a good solution here. All right, so here we go, uh, 20 roads. Uh, let's see if there are any obvious improvements. Uh, hmm, not really, because you do need all of these actually to fit that in. Um, so yeah, this seems like it's, uh, so I believe this was the best one. Let's just quickly resolve that. Uh, so yeah, it seems like this is the best solution. Uh, I will be uh, definitely be able to make some improvements here. Move both of these one up. Uh, remove three rows here. So I believe this is what I'll go for. So the final step is to actually apply that to your city. So let's go here. I like to you know, split screen this so I have both. Let's zoom out here a little bit, uh, a little bit more actually, there we go. Okay, so uh, I need to remove all but, uh, let's just do that, I need to remove all but one of these. So let's do that real quick, and uh, there we go. So now let's, oh, let's start moving. So this one, oh, I see I have some, uh, oh, I do not want to remove that, so <laughs> I want to remove these. All right, so I have one maze farm up there. Then I have a four by four building up here, two four by four buildings. Let's see, where is the, uh, let's move some roads. This can be a little bit cumbersome, so <laughs> yeah, here we go. Move the roads out of the way. So the town hall uh, needs to be two blocks over here. Uh, so that is four blocks, and I believe, uh, yeah, I believe it's like this. So a road there, there, and there, and there, I believe. Yep, that seems to be correct. Okay, then I have two three by three buildings down here. I have the other maze farm over there. Uh, then I have roads going across here across like this there we go oh and then I can remove yep I'm gonna remove that one so yeah move these over here again like that let's see this one is supposed to be there I believe yep there and there okay so there we go so I need one road here uh, so I have uh, four residences at the moment so I can place down two more so one there and one there, okay. Uh, then let's move this one up uh, there. Okay, so I need to place a few of these. Uh, so while I wait for these to construct, I will place these first. So, okay, I'm gonna place two. Um, so yeah, I have two residences constructing, let's put that on one hour. And when that is done, I will get one more uh, textbook single up here. And then I will get uh, two more aviaries, one here and one here. So yeah, that's my current plan. I need two more roads, I believe. So yeah, I think that should be it. There we have those three roads. So I'll be able to place one down there. Actually, I'll just place these up here for now. So you can see one takes a single up there and I'll have two more aviaries down here. So, so yeah, I think that should be Perfectly fine. This looks like a really good design to me. Uh, perhaps, perhaps it might be optim op uh, optimized a little bit more, but to be honest, I doubt it. So yeah, that's how to use the city builder uh, and optimizer uh, for your settlements. I hope this was helpful. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and it's been very, very helpful for me. Uh, and of course, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, the tool is not perfect. There are, it's, even though it says it's optimal, there are rooms for improvement in these designs. Uh, so keep that in mind. Look at obvious places where there are room for improvement. Uh, and uh, if the developer of this uh, tool is watching, hello, thank you very much for making this. 
please leave a comment in the description if you have anything to say, anything to add, uh, and yeah, uh, if you have any, if you're working on improving the algorithm and so on. I would definitely like to hear, and perhaps I'll make a follow-up video in in a couple of weeks or yeah, who knows. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I have a brand new layout here that I think is really good. Uh, but eventually, when I get you know the stone carver, the palace, and so on, I need to redesign again. So I will update the building list in the optimizer, and I will do all of this again. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the future.